Hello, everybody. I am Matt Quake 3333. And as you can probably see, we are back with Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now I am, and it would be helped if I had some music in the, uh, or sounds in the game. I always forget to, to unmute one sound, either my mic or the game sounds. Hush! No one asked you. We tried. Uh, uh, sounds. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, what we're going to do this time is... Um, we're going to go to the map chamber and start my... Probably my favorite um, keeper trial in this entire game, just because of um, what you do in it. So I'm gonna go to the. M I hate that I have to do this. Uh, go to the map and go to the map. No, that's the room of requirements. <clears throat> so, and yeah, people who have seen either the movies, read the books, or have, or know of the actual books, or the expanded books, should know this trial. Or this trial should be a little bit familiar to people. Welcome back. Hello, Professor Fitzgerald. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Huh? As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, oh. I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hmm. hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this How headmaster seems good? wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. Okay, You'll need to access the, the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Alright, so... Yeah, how do... How would I get into the headmaster's office, though? That's... How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Yeah. I'll have to ask Professor Fig, because I'm not sure exactly how to get there. I mean... <sighs> I don't think that was the right flute blade. That was a charmed... No, wait, Professor Fig is the charm. Is he? No. No, he's not. He's he is not the uh, charmed professor. I forget what what uh, Professor Fig teaches. Completely forget. <laughs> Too bad. <sighs> there we go. Hello. I'm now, Demi Guys. Hello, Mr. Demi Guys. Fine. Yeah, you have to collect. There's so many collect quests in this game. One of those is those Demi Guys statues for Mr. Moon, um, caretaker Moon. 
and uh, depending on how many you uh, get, uh, he actually. Um, Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Uh, Has something changed? What is it? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. With the, uh, That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. A little suspicious, Let's just Professor say Big, I felt but, the need uh... to be prepared for anything after yeah, my fruitless but, uh... trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, Time is a bit weird that Drink you actually up and I have that, more. Professor. You know, it is a little bit strange that you would have that. Just ready at the moment's notice. Oh, wow. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor <laughs> Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. I'll bet. Now because... to find the Headmaster's house elf. Jeez, it's so weird to, to be looking like Phineas. Oh, my. Phineas Nigellus Black. Because he's so... Alright, so I know that there's a... Oh, crud, there's no blueprint for it. Wait. Wait. Is there? No. I can't use blue flames right now. Well, crud. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor... I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um... Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> now, Wait, to determine what which the heck? gets this rather unenviable task. Wait, so... <laughs> if you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. 
Ah, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Never heard the headmaster approaching. It's just so weird to do this. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. <laughs> Professor Black, how are you, sir? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I simply... Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What oh. nonsense that you would trivialize wow. the health of a student over a, a silly game? A silly game? I... <laughs> you are quite impossible sometimes, sir. Good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports so, at the Ministry about you. So it's not that a student got injured; it was a pure blood that got injured. That, <laughs> with all of Professor Black's um, ragings in the fifth book, I think it was. Fourth and fifth book, it may, or no, sorry, fifth and sixth. It makes so much more sense now that Professor Black um, uh, stopped the Quidditch season. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I, good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. It seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! Where are you? What the heck? What? It's not giving me any, uh, not that way. This way. Right. That's weird. Huh. Where is the door? And he's coming this way. There it goes. I'm wondering why didn't the uh Huh, that's weird. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Professor? A word, please. Oh boy. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How how uh, delightful to see you. Sir? Ah. Uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Hmm. <laughs> I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> 
Uh, goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Uh, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Whoops, Weasley. Uh... Good day. Ah, <sighs> I love that certain thing for... A where... wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never underestimate him. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. <laughs> Hard a worker as any house elf. Screw! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrub swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. Oh, I, uh, uh, wait, wait. Master does remember it. Oh, crud. Um. Oh, my God. What is the Black Family motto? Oh, crud. Um. Oh, I used to know this. Oh, this hurts. I think it's this one. It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order <laughs> you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is right, most right. pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Toujours Thank you. Pur. Never right, speak of this right. conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Toujours pur. Right, right. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh. Oh, yes. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. <laughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Where is that? Um. Is that uh, what the heck? Uh, hello, aha, there we go. Jeez, sometimes it takes a little while for the quest to actually show up on your um, quest helper. Going up, still going up, still going up. <laughs> that is that is cool that they included the uh, uh, stairs just appearing like that. Hello, where are you? Revelio. Uh, there's one. I 
think it's that? I think it's that one. And then... I hate these things so much. I don't have time to do that. I really hate those things so much because you have to figure out what is the common factor between uh, between them all. And it's such a pain in the neck to try to figure out, okay, this one's head, this one's horns, this one's a uh, leg, this one God only knows what. Did I get this? Rebellion. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little clever thing that they do there. Still going up. I don't think this was. Wow, this is. Rebellion. This is interesting. A. Uh, dang, still going up. Level three lock. Wow. All right. Two lock. I'll come back up here in, on my other character to see if I can unlock some of these. Wow. Oh, hello. What are you? I have to get a key somewhere. All right. Hmm. Rebellion. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Hello. Headmaster's office gargoyle. The staircase that leads to the headmaster's office is guarded by the chant. Oh, excuse me. Enchanted gargoyle. That, will on that only those who know the password enter. Now, anyone choosing to visit the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. Uh. Do I have... Yes, I do. Lumos. I believe that is down here somewhere. Isn't it? No, wait. Um, down here? Is it? Somewhere on one of these ceilings. Yeah, it's one of those ceilings. Uh, is this? Wait, it may be. It may be in the uh, headmaster. It may be in the headmaster's office. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. No, just... Just him. Wow. Wait. I hear it. Where is it? Where is it? It's oh, good hello. to see you. All hello, thanks Professor. to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? 
approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. <laughs> I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. <laughs> we shall speak when you are finished. Very well. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Lumos. Hang on. I know that there's a... Uh... Where is it? I can hear it. Where is it? Oh my god, this is going to drive me insane. Level 3 lock. Level 2 lock. This is going to drive me insane. Rebellious. The Sultan has. This enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as a means by which students would be placed into one of the four school houses. Skilled at legitimacy, the salting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. That explains a lot. That really explains a lot of how the um, sorting hat could actually figure out um and discern what a student like their abilities and all that that is really actually a very very um very good explanation of what how it's able to figure it out oh there's apothecary recipe cure for boils one file <laughs> recipe Re or receipt sorry Hair tonic, mustache wax, bundaman pomade, comb crawl handled, a gold handled back scratcher, and doxicide. Paid in very small part. Remainder to be billed to ministry. Of course it is. Rebellion. <laughs> so it must. So the. Um, the. Uh, um. Oh my god, uh, Moth must be in one of those two locked rooms, and I think there's a field guy table. Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy rev rev reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. All that I believe is in a lock. Alright, anyway. Alright, time to get on with the story. And on to my favorite keeper trial here. I just love this keeper trial so much. Into Tom Riddle's diary we go. <laughs> Ugh. Now, for people who have seen... Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Eve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Wow. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. <laughs> yes. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Holy cow! Oh, that looks so freaking cool! <laughs> um, a 
are we figuring out what <laughs> are we figuring out what story we are in we all right here's the clues we know so far we need a cloak to avoid being seen by things and we just saw a humongous thing that represents a reaper hmm I wonder which children, wizard children's story has those two things. <laughs> oh, I love this keeper trial so much. It's so cool. Ah, oh, I can't go in the home. Uh, how do I? Do I just go through? Please don't kill me. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, you just walk through. Alright, fair enough. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. What the heck? Oh my god, I love the art style in this. It is like a storybook. That's like Death Eater movement by something. Oh my god, this gold. is so cool. And now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Oh shit. Oh my god, this is so cool. I need to time this just right. Alright, so I need to take do it when you're over there. You're there. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Yeah, that is very Death Eater esque. Wow. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Okay. How do I get past you? Ah, uh, okay. Do leave. All right. Okay. Now I'm in water. A little bit of water. Oh, death. crud! It is death. <laughs> oh my God! This is so freaking cool. So. Has Amanda, anyone figured it out? Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. <sighs> if you're wondering, it's the tale of the three brothers, AKA the story of the Deathly Hollow. This is my chance. Come in, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Yeah, it's the story of the Deathly Hollows. Where do I need to go? Oh, I see where I need to go. Okay. Um, are you going to go back or are you going to be pain in the neck and go? Screw it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, God. That's where I need to go, but need to find a way past them. Ah, oh, the sounds. 
sounds that they make. Sounds that they make. <laughs> it's like gurgling. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Careful not to hit anything. Oh jeez. That is creepy. Danger. Oh my god, that is creepy. Oh, that's so back. creepy. There's no getting past them that way. Oh, crap. Okay, thank you for giving me a way past. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Ah, a wicked well potion. Thank you. Nice. Oh, my God, this is so freaking amazing. Oh, you really have to be right in the way. my okay. chance where do I go where do I go down here oh out here okay there we go oh this is stressful oh this is stressful because you don't know where the heck you're supposed to go sometimes and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> ah. Oh. That's the way forward. Okay. Mysterious cloak. Nice. Miss me. I think I'm invisible. The invisibility cloak. <laughs> one of the one of the Deathly Hollows. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Wow. Yeah, the invisibility cloak in the story of the three brothers this made him completely invisible. Finally free. Completely invisible now, where to death. Are you, Neve? Neve? Huh. Oh, that is so cool that it just completely dissolves. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. We Wait, the wand you what? see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. I can wield the Elder Wand? No way! That is definitely the Elder Wand because it has the bump I like felt such power. Wow. Bombarda. Okay, so I have Bombarda, Defindo, um, Depulso. And I'm not sure what the other. I forget what the uh, one on the bottom is. Okay, so I have to beat Death's minions? Oh, hello. Burnt charred rooster or chicken? Hello, burnt charred sheep? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, hello. Uh, what's this? Oh, 
Revelio. Oh, I can do things. Okay. I can't collect things in here. Okay, I have two wi I have a few I have a few Wigan Roll potions. It does keep that. It does keep my stock of them, so at least I'm not gonna have that much tr I hope I don't have that much trouble. the opens the way forward wow oh that is cool how they just you bombarder defender stupid one bombarder stupid one defender potato stupid one defender bombarder That all of them? There you go. Uh, okay. What's this one? Descendo. Descendo, that's what it is. Okay. I could not think of that, what that last one was. Descendo. Okay. Oh, this is a great place for an attack. Oh, crap! Are we facing death himself? Die, troll! Sick 
sick of this. Like this battle. That's it. Holy crap. Whoa. Oh my god, that was a long battle. Oh boy. Oh man, that was hard. That one was that one was tough. I will not say that. I'll not lie. That one was insanely tough. Uh uh Halloween pumpkin mask. And my next dueling feat one is the Autumn Festival Coat. Or Coat. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Ugh. That was annoying Rebellion. because it just. It was just wave after wave of tough bat. of tough enemies. Especially those trolls. Oh my god. And that one time I was at. One of my dueling feats was. Uh, get to a 30 uh, hit combo and I was at like 25 and I got hit and it's like oh my god that hurts that sucks so much and I was like uh. all right so we've gone through the invisibility cloak I have I've done the elder wand now I have to go through the stat stone there it is there it is, the Stone of Resurrection. There it is. The Resurrection Stone. The third Deathly Hollow. Oh boy, this is so weird. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. She's gone. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. Wait, what? What the? Wait, what the? <laughs> Me. We won't be the same without her. Oh, hello, Death. I didn't even see you there. So, wait. Is this. Half. 
Is this? Hang on, hang on. So, she obviously modeled this trial after the tale of the three brothers because you have the first part of it you have to go through the entire village unseen and at the end of it you get the near the end of it you get the cloak of invisibility the second part is you're wielding the elder wand and the third part you get the resurrection stone and you have to bring her back to life to finish the ta the trial. Um, but I think she's uh, based the third part of this trial on um, what happened when, when she died. Everyone was so distraught that she died. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. That is true. That is true. Yeah, it can only conjure a but shadow. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Now, an, uh, an interesting thing for this is, who are we playing as in this... Remember that in as this, you witness my uh, memory. ...trial? Because you're not playing as your character. Who are you playing as? Her son? Um, or one of the three brothers? That is weird. You know, because you're you're obviously not your created character. So that's what that's what's always confused me about this. Who are you playing as in this trial? So that I do not that I have no answer for. These are cool. This is a cool uh, trial, though. Ah, there's the there's the uh, relic. There's the elder wand, whom we know that Dumbledore has had, I should say. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And. Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Have you now? Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. I don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. How it enhances my ability to wield magic. If I don't follow, Isadora, I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Mia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of it. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Okay, Isadora's really going off the uh, off the rails here. This is. This magic that she's trying to obtain and control, it's not, 
it's not as something that someone anyone should wield at all i mean it's it's a powerful magic yes but no one can control it i mean it's pain it's literal the emotion of pain that she's taking out of of people but it's just she thinks it's a power but it's it's not be it's not going it's going to corrupt her if she's not careful is it true Has oh hello professor the first three trials it is and i have but you are so young i know you must be professor bakar i am pleased to meet you the pensive memory i just witnessed was isadora inhaling painful emotions she was that's I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. I'm having a hard it time. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. Yeah. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, yeah. she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no <laughs> idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. So, you got Professor Black drunk? Wow. Uh, I didn't ask you to do that much but okay i guess i mean if it worked <laughs> okay so uh, okay so that is the that is that part done um uh, okay i still have to do the delivery for poppin um, I have to do the broom trial with Imelda, and I have, I should, uh, look at my Thestral offspring, offspring. Okay, so first, let's see what I have here. Oh yeah, I have a new wand handle. Oh, wow. That one looks cool. That one looks neat. That actually fits pretty well. I'll equip that one. That looks really no that looks really good. Oh, do I have anything um that could be of use? Uh, I don't hey, 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 hello. I 
should go to the uh I'll go back to the um uh what is it room of requirement to identify these different things and I will sell probably all of these things cuz I have no inventory space. And I have a lot of things that are pretty much useless. All right. Um, any talents that I can No, okay. All right. I so. shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go to the room of requirement. Identify these other... these pieces. And then go tend to my uh, tend to my little uh, festral um, path offering. Akio. Oh, whoop! That's not what I wanted to do. I am sorry. I am sorry. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there we go. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. There's a little Thestral. How do I get out of this area? Uh, probably through the tree. <laughs> yeah, probably through the tree that shows the rest of the... Uh... <laughs> hey, Deke. I, uh... Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. They I'm are. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed oh, on that wow. cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Wow. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Wow. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. We can only hope, D. All right, so one of the oh, hello. A couple get few get me leaves. So one of my let's see, what can I? All right, I do have some gear. I think that is better. Uh, 
Aha, 71. Nice. And it has Unforgivable 1, increased damage dealt to cursed targets. And that actually works because uh, the uh, talents I have, one of the, the, the casting actually curses the targets so they take more damage. I think that's what I had. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have anything else here. I know I have other headwear. Ah. 71 and deafening one. Increased damage with a mandrake. 78. Decreased damage taken from goblins. That is actually that would actually be better, knowing what I'm actually going to be going up against. <laughs> Go back to uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, where is the appearance? Ah, there it is. There we go. Now I have one more, a couple neckwares. I think. Increased damage from ancient magic. 70. 78. Increased venomous tentacular damage. 85. Ooh, wow. Increased decreased damage taken from dark mongol that literally actually looks really that's a really nice scarf wow uh go back to that just because i like the look and it goes well with the look i have uh 75 increased damage with bombarda i do use that that i do use that a lot though okay I think I have something better here. Increased damage by all plants. Oh my god, that looks so that looks so weird. That really does look really very, very weird. So you're going back to that one. Okay, so that's actually a really good uh wow, my offense is really, really good. So now, I'm going to... Oh, hello, Professor. Uh, you just open a mail and don't say anything. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, notes, resources... Ah, outpost. That's what it is. Um, is this the one? Oh, okay. There it is. Deke tells me he shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check in with him when you get the chance. He has an idea for you that I thought worth exploring. Am I about to go after a phoenix? Wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do what? Uh, all right, I'm going to go to. No, not all. here sell so much stuff because I have a lot of stuff that's very very useless Ready. 
We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. All right, so anything that's under 70. Just sell everything, pretty much, actually. <laughs> I mean, all of this is just completely worthless to me because of, of how much my uh, uh, stats are now. I wish you could, like, mass sell things. Like, shoot, select everything. And then just say, you know what? I'll sell everything instead of doing this. Ugh. Uh, uh, making a lot of money though. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. I hope to I see went you from, again. I think Farewell I gained now. like almost 10,000 gold from that. From all those, all that selling. <laughs> I went from having like 70 something things in my gear uh, to only six. Yeah, the only things I have are the things that I have on my, on me. Okay, so. Here that he found a bit done. of treasure in the forest. It was never one for adventure. All right, so. Uh, um, let's see. Where am I going next? Uh, I mean, I could take some th take some. Uh, I'm gonna do some side quests in Hogmead. Oh, hello. Revenio. Sonko's Joke Shop. Frequently frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is a place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Already got those. There's a bag on the other side of that. Huh? New quest. What new quest? A shadow of hope. So there's two quests for from Sebastian. Okay. That's weird that he would get That Renick is the key to go. saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcross as soon as you can. Okay. Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. I know. Everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. <gasps> she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and 
bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she I'm seems having to have a hard gone into time hiding. Nail down fear, her accent. Imagine. It's kind of Scottish. Students learn a fair bit about but... caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. I'm kind of detecting a little bit of heavy Scottish and a little bit of Irish, but it's he so heavily mixed that it's hard to pinpoint what it is, what the, uh, what it is. I'm gonna bring a towel. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always yeah. tell. Please. Don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Oh, God, that... Remember, that... you'll know her by her brilliant coat. Yeah, I'm very, I very. A unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. All right. Uh. Yeah, that. Wait. Why are Rebellion. you? Why are you leading me in that direction when the? When the. So, I can take a little bit out of there by going to Hogsfield. I'll go here. Take a little bit of the uh, trip out. Or the distance out of the trip. Oh, wait, what? Doug Bog warning. Okay. <laughs> What am I tracking? I think I'm tracking another quest. No, I'm not. I'm tracking the unique unicorn, but where is it taking me? Oh, hello. Wait, wait, hang on. Knowing the meat, he's likely studied her. Hang on. Do I... Wait, I haven't taken astronomy yet? What? All right, that's weird. I thought I did. Huh. Strange. Hazel must be here somewhere.
these deer are gonna screw me up. Unicorn. Here. Where is Hazel? Where are you? Somewhere around here. It's a regular unicorn. Do come up right from here. Come on. There we go. Aha. All right. That was a unicorn, but that wasn't Hazel. Where is Hazel? Starting to poke you down. Here come spiders. Not worth the trouble, if you ask me. Rebellion. Where the heck are you? Soccer coaches? Ah, you're up there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Another grove over here, I think. Where are you? Where is the... Okay, she did say that they were attacked by wolves. So there's a there's wolves. Um what kind of beasts are around here. Perhaps I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. Oh. What is this? Unicorn den there. That's a mooncalf den. Okay. Whoops. I'm in a mooncalf den. The ministry ought to loosen the reins on the dark arts. No better protection, if you ask me. All right. So I have to go back over here. The unicorn den try to find Hazel, but I don't know where she is. I did not see her. Not there. Rebellion. Not seeing. You've had too much fire whiskey if you think you can out too Not much. seeing another unicorn around here oh crud okay uh back to this one incendio bombarda confringo Really? I thought I put you 
you on fire, you stupid and ferris? There you go. Goodbye. Jeez. That was annoying. All right. Hello, centaurs. Arrest the momentum. Not seeing another unicorn around here. Even though I know I should. That's not... Doesn't make sense. That does not make an ounce of sense. Why I'm not seeing another unicorn around here. Unless... Uh, There is a, there are a few poachers up on the mountain above that. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching this crack crop. Seems like are. a quiet night. Where are you? What the heck? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're below below me. Wait, what? I didn't always like a polite battle. Oh. Not seeing. I should be seeing another unicorn here, but I'm not. And I don't know why. Yeah, usually there's. Stop it. Usually there's two, two or more. Yeah. Revenge. Come on, Hazel. Huh? What? What? Ah. Uh, my character just said, said something that leads me to believe that this should be here. Because it's not. So... Right now, I'm going to abandon that quest because I have no idea where the other one is. Go deliver these to who? Keen Bridge. Okay. I don't have a... I go there. And then... Go to the delivery point, and I'll unlock a flu flame on the way. Ah.
Sounds like Ranrock's loyalists are having trouble with spiders. And uh, I don't care. <laughs> A couple less for me to deal with. Not my problem. Merlin trial down there. Always late that evening. Always been keen on keen bridge. Hang on to your valuable. That pippin should have been here by now. Rebellion. Ah, there you are. Ginger root. The barkeeping key bridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off customers' nausea. And keep them in being a little bit longer. I don't know that how to pronounce oh, that. Uh, that pippin. Madam Luang? I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Well then. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. Huh. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Do I really have to? I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. Fine. There. Are you happy now? Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? Just having a look around, if that's all right. Of course. Please, let me know if you find anything that interests you. And thank you for stopping by. We have to go. There we go. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Yeah, don't need that. This will do just fine. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Rebellion. I have some promising news. The Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to the odd angle at which it sits wrapped in the trees of the overhanging tree. All right. Location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Okay. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Rib and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. All right, so this is a Merlin trial. Where is the... Is this it? I know what that means. Merlin trial. Okay, so I have to guide this to where? Levioso. Who do I have to guide that to? Who do 
have to put it. Um. Back here. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to bring it to this. Wonder who lives here. Akio. You're not moving. Serious? Why are you not? Let me say. Akio. Where am I supposed to bring this? like these Merlin trials either because they're so annoying. I don't think I'm supposed to go that far away though. And I think I'm supposed to brew another invisibility potion. Because I only have two now that I, oh my god. Okay, so I have to brew another invisibility potion, which, um, uh, potions, um, toadstool caps, snotgrass, and troll bogies. Okay, so. Hogwarts, go here, go here, brew an invisibility potion, and while that's going, all right, so that's one minute. And in that time, what I'll do is I'll go to Manage Beasts. Oh, hello, little Popsky. Hair. <laughs> the 
little puck scheme. <laughs> oh, Miss Merb, Miss Moot, Miss Moot, huh? Jabbernal, sorry. Ah, stupid fly. Dang it. There we go. Jabbernal feather. There we are. Alright, so that's all these creatures taken care of. And there's my invisibility potion. So now I can go back to Madame Fatima and No, not Upper Hogsfield. Uh, Keenbridge. And give her the three invisibility potions to get this quest out of the way. Here you go, madam. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well... I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Wow. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard um, that. Um... Okay. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. Okay, so she actually helped the Ashwinders. That's a little bit concerning. That is just a tad bit concerning that she works with, that she supplies the Ashwinders. Those beehives. Rebellion. I didn't even know there were beehives. The wizarding world needs honey for their tea as much as the muggle world does. Very well. I mean, hey, that's it's good to have them. Um, it's good to have honey, you know. It really is. All right, so. I guess I can return to Hogsmeade to tell Mr. Pippin that that uh, uh, I delivered the um, things as asked and get that quest out of my inventory. Here you found a bit. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? There you are. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. 
Very well. I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Ah, potion is tap. Okay, so... Ooh, 500 gold from that. Wow. Nice. Alright, so next quest... Um... I could either, uh, well, since I'm in Hogsmeade, I could go to Poppy in Hogsmeade Circle. Did you find my pointy pony? No, I did not. Like yet. her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back ah. to the tent and tracked her flight. Interesting. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we hmm. might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Yeah, I could easily see that. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. All right. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. That I'm ready is when true. you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Wow. Some Ashwinder e Ashwinder eggs. Two soul school caps. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. That is true. I mean, it is a female dragon, but still. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Good friend. Good Goodbye, dark mongrels. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten you. 
usually. Revelio. Else around here? Hello. Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining us in Borneo. I thought, I know you had your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are acromantulous. You won't believe how much vitamin I made a few days ago. Not to mention Borneo is not as bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. Such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Rebellion. Anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. There she is again. Fantastic. She's breathtaking. Wow. It is interesting to see hmm, dragons. I wonder though. how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebridines yeah, love sheep. That's... How lucky for us. Yeah, really. Exactly. Yeah, really. How lucky for us that uh, <laughs> that's what we look like. Watch your step. Rebellion. Or just raring for a fight. An identified hand item. Interesting. Oh, wow. Jeez. That is unnerving. A grab horn is really, really big. Quiet. What was that? I love the purple eyes. I love the purple eyes that they have. Ow. Wait till the head. I'll run ahead. Whenever you're ready, I'll follow your lead. I'll draw her attention. Follow when it's safe. Ow. behind there. Oh my god, will you... It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Yeah, I know that. That's where I'm going. So that's where I'm going to try to go. If we can get to we can get to the map. Yeah, I know that. Ah! Ow! Look! I need help! Brilliant. 
There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Prepare us. Probably to prevent anyone else from coming up here. <laughs> now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. You make it less sound so easy, madam. <laughs> how detailed that is oh my god look at the eyes holy crap oh my god that is beautiful i just it just amazes me how amazing this game is visually Yeah, they really did that was a brilliant. lot of amazing and did you see how detail. Clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. I wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Should we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Oh, crap. I think I know what's happened. Go away, you stupid fly. Ugh. I How could I think... be so blind? I think they may have took her grandmother. That's... That's my guess. I mean, I'm not sure, but that's my guess. Come now, don't be stingy. And it makes sense as to why her grandmother hasn't written her. Oh, I have some uh, Zonko's Chief Prankster coat. And then I get the ensemble next. And then I get the Highland Explorer garb. And next is the cloak there. The quests. Ooh, Lucky Leprechaun. I'm sorry. And I get overcoat. <laughs> and that'll actually complete the Lucky Leprechaun. Um, uh, the whole set. Wow. Oh, excuse me. And then combat. I have uh, Necromantic Protection 2 from Defeating 20 and Fairy. I need to do thir uh, 34 more to get Necromantic Protection 3. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. So, my next quest would be... I'm gonna do grief and vengeance with uh, Natty. Now, where is that located? Is it in Hogwarts? It's maybe in Hogwarts. I think so. Okay. Uh,
Oh, excuse me. Um. She's in the Great Hall. Okay. That's where she is. I was wondering where the heck the... Because the quest uh, arrow laid, um, ended right at the uh, entrance to the... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. And it ended right at the uh, exit to Hogwarts. Wow. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my god. All the fake snow coming down from the Great Hall ceiling. The huge Christmas tree in the in the uh, at the head. Wow. That is just so cool. Ah, hey, I Daddy. have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, <laughs> Don't we know that? she might in fact have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Harlow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabilliland, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savanna. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. Oh. We were on our way wow. home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted, and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me, and was hit. As oh, he fell, wow. my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. Survivor's guilt. My mother and I tried guilt. to go on without him, but it became too much Survivor's for us. Survivor's guilt. A That's few years that later, is. we left to come to Scotland. Huh. I never actually realized that, that Hogwarts is in Scotland. For some reason, I never, I never actually realized that. I, I, I should have realized it, but I don't know why. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved. But I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so, too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer. But I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. 
but I think he of true. all people would understand my persistence. Yeah. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, it's not good to go after people who are a lot stronger and a lot more powerful than you are. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. I don't think Thank your you mother would be happy, though. Me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Did I th finish this one, or did I not? I don't think I did. So that one's uh, that one's legs. Eleven. I think it's that one. There you go. Okay. All right. There we go. Field new road. Taxidermy wall hangings. All right. Um. Okay. So that's that. Talk to Natty. So my next quest is what uh one of the sebastian ones i guess so i'll do in the shadow of hope to meet him in fellcraft fellcroft oops not uh i want to go to map world map uh fellcroft there we are <sighs> I mean, I'm making some good progress with side quests. I really do want to make, I want to really want to do that. And I really do like the uh, Sebastian quest. It really does. It really is an interesting quest, but I mean, you have to, uh... Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? 
Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. <sighs> Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's mm. what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Okay. Uh. So I guess I can do his other quest. Uh, what do we have here? Level 2 lock. Right. I think I only have a local more level 1. So, let's see where in the shadow of the mountain is. Holy crud, that is way down there. Alright, uh, the mind's eye. Uh. here and I th think if I'm not if not mistaken now yeah, if I'm not mistaken God um there is there should be there should be a cave um, yeah there should be a cave around here somewhere that allows you to go through the through the mountain. I think this is it. I think this is it. Huh. Yeah, I think this is it. Tomb of... Yeah. You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, like edges of lettuce those mushrooms were. Two up there. Okay. There's you gone. There's you gone. Ah, oh, this is so much easier than getting rid of uh, ones by battling. Ah, why 
does there have to be two of them? Who's there? What's going on out there? In here, get the flu flame lit. This looks intriguing. Oh, hello. Good free. All right, there's something in here. A shit. Spider webs. Alright, so I think I can get out of disillusionment. Here. Revelio. Huh. How do I get to that bag? Because there's a bag under there. Rebellion. But I don't know how to get to it. Bombarda. No. Accio. No. Levioso. No. Confringo. Defendo. How to get to that? It's all behind. It's behind all this stuff. But rebellion. I don't know how to get to it? You know what? I'm not gonna freaking bio rotate. No, I don't. I'm not worried about it. It's probably only like 10, 12 gold. Uh, so it's not that, not that important. The wizard will have no choice but to submit to us. Revelio. God, this is easy. You guys are making this so ridiculously easy for me. <laughs> Seriously, you guys are making this easy for me. All right, there's a guy right up at the bit, right up at the top of this. I don't know if he's coming down. There he is. Hmm. Someone there. What was that? I almost screwed that up. Royally. Oh, hello. Who are you? Think I don't think I have a choice about fighting here. Yeah, 
I don't think I have a choice here. Alright, I need to have... Uh, yeah, I think I need to put some other spells here. I don't want to put this in, but I think I have to. What is this? Oh, no, that's Kazingo, Defendo, Descendo. Alright. Bombarda! Incendio! Ow! Rock has fooled you all to your demise. All right, interesting that I actually uh, use the uh, uh, Cruciatus curse and no adverse effects. <laughs> Stupid fly, I hate it. Antique compass. Unfortunately, the fact that this antique muggle compass was dropped here means the muggle who dropped this is probably wandering through Wales by now. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That is just so amazing. Look at that. Oh my god. Hang on. I have balloons to pop. Oh, wow. Huh. Look at this. There's actually a Quidditch field, and they have baskets as their hoops. Which actually, if I remember my movies and the uh, book Quidditch Through the Ages, they actually did use baskets as their hoops which is really interesting which is really interesting wow and it looks like it's a homemade it's actually it looks like it's a home homemade uh or at least a, like a local uh uh quidditch pitch it's really interesting that's cool all right, so I can remove this waypoint. Huh. Yeah, I can remove this waypoint. Wait, what the heck? I could have sworn I activated those... Those, uh, hang on, hang on. I wanna, I could have sworn I activated that, uh, um, blue flame. Time to teach someone a lesson! 
I don't think I'm going to get there because that is a big battle that's going to be uh, taking place. So I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I don't like the looks of that encampment. Yeah, I don't blame you. That is a huge... There's a flu flame up there that's... Act that here, is Robert. activated. But I don't know what flu flame this is. Um... Oh, that's this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So where is this? Uh... Is that further down here? Um... that flu flame? the heck? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there a... Hang on. Hang on. There you are. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? There. Okay, there's the Tomb of Treachery. Okay. That's where the flu flame was. I knew it was somewhere, but I don't... I did not understand where it was. Okay. Alright, so now... What I'm gonna do... Uh, go meet Sebastian down here. And I... I think after that I'll call it a night. I haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over this place. Boy, he is far away from Hogwarts. Holy cow. Gain a bit of speed. In the heck are you, Sebastian? Jeez. Why have you come all the way down here? The southern tip of, of uh, the map. Wait. I see... I see balloons. A balloon. Where's the others? Aha! There's two. Hang on, Sebastian. I have balloons to pop. Time to go speed Sebastian, finally. Ugh. I don't know why that fills me with such satisfaction of uh, popping those balloons. Nothing pleasant about this coast. Yeah, really. Now, I do have some things to collect in here. Uh, combat... Ooh! Goblin Silver Resistance 3. Defeat 100 goblins. Nice. And then exploration. Uh. Wildfire Broom. 
My next is the Bright Spark. Interesting. So... My gear for brooms, I have the Wildfire. A broom that captures an untamed nature with the little spark. That's the broom I actually have. Oh, wait, no. The broom I have is the Ember Dash. Huh. Interesting. That's just another one with a flaming tail. The Night Dancer broom. That one's neat with the, the streamers hanging off it. The Lickety Swift broom. That's cool with the rat basket. <laughs> basket hanging off of it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can identify? else that's useful no uh no no nothing there and unidentified all right so i don't have anything in my inventory all right what's up what's up uh Bastard? i received your owl thank you I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, it doesn't work like to that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They oh. Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. I do care about Anne, but I'm tired of explaining myself. Perhaps we should part ways. That's... that's not what I meant. I... We're just not getting answers. I need answers. For Anne. I know. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, Where quickly, am I go Where before we're we spotted. Where Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Right. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain needs to safeguard local hamlet valuables, but it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Interesting. You ought to come back on pudding. Oh, crud. Okay, I didn't know your uh, sight was that uh, that far. All right. Go away. Who's there? Go away. I'm famished. There is another one there. Oh, I got Mushroom stew about now. Okay, so I'm facing that way. Oh, come on, really? 
You had to freaking move away. You had to freaking. Uh, Turn around. Dang it. Uh, why did that one have to turn around? Rebellion. Honestly, I don't understand why he had to turn around. Worst possible moment. And I was right. That that's just frustrating. You know? Just go around it. Uh, Specials overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. It was a shield of some sort. It was it was uh, different. Wow, that's cool. Little textures on the ground. I bet the festal nests close by. Incendio. Some ruin shot. Okay. Don't have to do that yet. Kill any who trespass. There they are. Let's go. Wait. We should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Dude, you're. I'll be quieter than a juggernaut. Uh. Our brethren are dying, are we? That didn't touch your helm. Thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. I know who my friends are now, don't I? Got what they deserved. All right. Yeah, but what were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed, but I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Oh boy, Sebastian, you're gonna get. I know you wanna. I know you wanna do this. But you have to do things a certain way, or Rebellion. else you're just gonna get yourself killed. I mean, it's great that you want to help, man. But certain things have to be taken like cautiously, you know can't go in guns 
guns blazing and just haphazardly just because you want answers. You know? Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Right, where am I going? Chest here. Where am I going? Up here? Yes, okay. Hey, yep. <laughs> uh, I just dove them off. I just bumped them off a cliff, so they're gone. <laughs> I'm not going down to search for any good goodies. Rebellion. Because I do not want to. Confringo. Oh, that's double snare. Lumos. Lumos. I saw it just as I was gonna go in there. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Oh, hello. Who are you? Dear resident, your chicken coop inspection will occur in two weeks' time in the call rooms with the Ministry's investigation into rumours of the illegal breeding of basilisks. Please ensure that your premises are toe-free and be reminded that the punishment for such illegal breeding endeavours is lifelong detention in Azkaban. Please contact the Department of Regulation and Control of Magical Beasts, Ministry of Magic, with any questions. Also, oh well. I mean, he's breeding chickens, so he has chickens here. So, I mean. They say that the basilisk is, hates Lumos, the Lumos. Uh, hates chick hates the uh, hates the chicken. So, or er, throw of a rooster. Sorry. And it's a. How do you hatch it? Oh my god, it's something, un it's an egg, it's an egg hatched under the, it's an egg hatched under the, uh, yeah, I think so, but it's weird, it's a weird way of hatching it though. I agree, only good wizards are dead wizards, Ranrock got that right. I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. Okay, so I'm trying to get as few as few of these guys in a fight as I ha can. Oh, this day has gone on too long. What was that? Mr. Tavis, you can't stop us. Incendio. 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 Incendio.
Sebastian, wait, wait, for what? Oh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gott said, oh, your goblin friend. Stop it, that's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Okay. Agreed. Revenge. Here around here to... Oh, hello. Hello, random blue flame. Up, my young friends. Anything else around here? Yep. A couple uh, pork lumps. Nice and gold. A couple other things around here. Rebellion. All right. So, before I go into the tower tunnel, I think I'm going to end it here for today. Um, we got a lot of side quests done. We finished the third keeper trial. And, uh, yeah, next time we'll be, um, we'll be going into the, uh, tower tunnel with, um, Sebastian to see what we can, what we can do with, uh, this triptych and, the artifact that he has and see if we and see if it has some answers with um, for what um, Ranrock is planning with, for this for these with these repositories because we know that they are uh, something that has to do with the pain that Isadora was taking out of other people. Um, and she's using it for some sort of power. But it's very, it's, it has to be dangerous. But Ranrock sees it as power. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it is what he's doing. So, yeah, next time we'll be going into that tower tunnel. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so make sure you uh subscribe so you and get and turn on notifications so you know when i'm uh going live um i have all the uh i have all my um uh hogwarts legacy video streams in a playlist so you can just stream them all or you can just binge them all and uh, get yourself caught up. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.